emotionless greeting, noting general disappointment that I'm not the Prime Minister, saying how difficult this is for everyone, although not me. Three part slogan with strong but awkwardly timed hand gestures, thinking I look like Churchill, trying to sound as clever as this scientist. Slight nod of the head, pretending I don't think you're incompetent, understanding you're going to place all the blame at my door in the not too distant future. Looking back to camera and claiming our message has been very clear, and where it hasn't been clear, we've been clear about that. Barely disguising that unclear message now allows us to blame the public later. Um, reluctantly taking inane question from member of the great British people. Badly framed recording of pre-agreed question but with a common accent. Realising I'm on TV, momentarily losing my train of... Somehow managing to mention Brexit before repeating my pre-agreed question. Pretending I didn't choose that question myself hours ago. Uh, getting your name wrong, uh, then just moving on. Stealing myself for harder questions. <clears throat> Thanking God for technical difficulties and with confusion crossing to a tabloid showbiz reporter. Stupid question, even by my standards, crowbarring in that I once met a big celebrity. Thanking you for your uh, contribution, barely hiding my utter disdain for you and your kind. With relief, crossing to a broadsheet journalist. Incredibly tough question about statistical analysis, which is impossible to understand, let alone answer. Unadvisedly uh, dipping my toe into the science <clears throat> and saying something I don't understand about R. Perhaps that immediately regretting it. Explaining what the R value is, wishing they taught statistics properly at, at school, trying to explain it again, realising futility and just giving up. Pretending that's what I just said. Uh, seeing who's got the next question, suddenly a bit nervous. Introducing myself as host of a network politics show. Shameless advert for it behind me. Super long question that goes on for ages so everybody loses the will to live. A second question even though I'm only allowed one. And sneaking in a third question giving you the opportunity to get out of answering the first. Gratefully ignoring the first question because I don't like it. Making a joke so I seem human <laughs> and immediately realising now's not the time. Slight panic. Three part slogan and handing to the scientist to bail me out. Surprised this question came to me. Showing a complicated slide for four seconds. Trying my best not to merely say what the politician wants me to say but hoping I keep my job after this. Introducing myself as journalist from hugely popular Facebook page you've never heard of. Feel like I've been invited to ask a question so the government seems in touch with millennials. Terrified of that question and of young people in general. Dead eyes looking forward, repeating the words success, heroes, uh, key workers, frontline and thanks. No new information given, but distracting everyone with overcomplicated World War II analogy. British people. Alerting broadcast media to imminent end of briefing by slowing down dramatically. Three part slogan. Instant synod. Relieved, thank you. Embarrassed, thank you.